Welcome to Spider Auto's Light Tube Projector Headlight Installation Guide for the Dodge Charger. Before we get started, you'll need a 7, 8, and 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, a panel popper or flathead, and a T15 Torx driver. Check out how Spider Projectors change the look of your charger. Start by opening the hood. Remove the two filler panels covering the radiator area. There are five pop-in clips that secure each filler panel. After removing the filler panels, remove the four plastic retainers securing the fascia underneath. Take a moment to apply painter's tape or masking tape to protect the bumper and fender edges while we work. Moving to the wheel well, remove the upper plastic retainer. Then remove the two lower plastic retainers. Peel back the fender liner for access, then locate and remove the 10mm bolt securing the fascia to the fender edge. Go underneath the bumper and remove the 6-7mm bolt securing the fascia to the under tray. Now we can unseat the bumper by gently easing it back. Unseat and remove the bumper fascia. Be sure to disconnect the fog lamp harnesses if equipped. With the fascia removed, we can now access the four 8mm bolts securing the headlight. Remove these four 8mm bolts. Unseat the headlight for access. Then disconnect the side marker harness, disconnect the high and low beam harness, and then disconnect the turn signal harness. We have to transfer a few parts over before we continue. Take a look at the underside of your OEM headlight. Be sure not to set the light on its lens. On the underside, remove the three T15 Torx screws securing the bumper bracket to the headlight. You must transfer this bracket over for the bumper to fit properly. Remove the bumper bracket from the OEM headlight. Remove the side marker bulb and socket from the OEM headlight. Now for the spider headlight. Take a look at its underside, and again, do not set the light on its lens. Seat the bumper bracket and then reinstall the three T15 Torx screws securing it to the headlight. Before we reinstall the side marker, check that its gasket is in good shape. Replace it if it's worn. Reinstall the side marker socket. Your headlight adjusters are located here and are all 8mm. Now to install the headlight. Connect the high and low beam harness. Connect the turn signal harness. And then connect the side marker harness. Now go ahead and seat the spider headlight. Reinstall the four 8mm bolts to secure the headlight. Now we can seat the bumper fascia. Be sure to reconnect the fog light harnesses if so equipped. Be sure that your bumper edges are properly clipped into place. Moving topside, now we'll reinstall the four plastic retainers securing the fascia from above. Reinstall the two filler panels by simply pressing their clips back into place. Replace the fender liner and reinstall the 10mm bolt securing the fascia to the fender edge. And reinstall the upper plastic retainer. Next, reinstall the two lower plastic retainers securing the fender liner. Moving underneath the fascia, reinstall the 6-7mm bolts securing the fascia to the under tray. Then just close the hood and you're done. Congratulations, you fitted your charger with a set of slick light tube projector headlights from Spider Auto. This is the actual projector cutoff line. 